What's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel. We are heading to go get an oil change for the truck. We've got to get her up to speed because we have a long drive next weekend, not in this particular video, but stay tuned because I'm going to tell you what we're doing in the next video. Uh, and you're going to be very excited about it. So you're going to want to hit that notification bell. But today we're going on a hike. We're going to Little Manatee River State Park. Um, we've been there before, but to a different part of the park so now we're trying a new part of the park that we have not been to before i brought my little fishing pole uh i think one of the hikes lead over to the river so if so you know i've got a little jig i'm going to mess around with see if there's any bluegill ready to bite i'm not looking to do a lot of action it's pretty cold outside but stay tuned like subscribe and let's get it what's up y'all <clears throat> It's a beautiful Florida weekend. Got a really busy road right there. We are going hiking. All right, so you can either pay with a card or you could pay with cash. They have envelopes right here. Basically the trusty system. I believe it's $5. Um, so we're going to put the $5 in, you take this tag and you hang it on your car. So that's what we're going to do. All right, got a fun boardwalk here. Straight out of Jurassic Park. Beautiful week weekend day. I can't talk for some reason. Beautiful weekend day. We decided to come out for a hike after the oil change, as I said earlier, and now we're here. Little Manatee River State Park. We came in through a, a north side entrance, and now we're hiking, y'all. Might be able to do a little bit of bluegill fishing. We'll see if the river's high enough or not, but we'll try. Maybe we'll get lucky. Six point two mile loop. Maybe we'll do the whole six miles. I'm not sure. Just spoke to a nice gentleman walking three dogs, and he told me that there's some spots about a mile out um, where we might be able to just kind of get some good fishing. And he saw some some big fish there. My guess is it's tilapia if they're hugging the bank and just kind of hanging out in schools. But I'll take whatever bite. You guys saw that last fish we got. I don't know if I ever shared this with you guys, but I love trails that have a bunch of pine trees because I love how soft it makes the trail when the needles are on the trail. It's so soft to walk on and it's just really pretty to be around. This is a big old tree. All the roots of over there. That's a big knockdown tree. Oh. I'm old. Oh boy. I should have wore pants. This place is full of bumblebees. Well, not. Well, I guess they're bumblebees. Honeybees, whatever the proper term is. Look how huge that ant pile is. My foot. That's an ant pile. Holy moly. We made it through Beeville. <clears throat> now we keep walking on a clearer path. I'm glad there's a wind because that sun is out. Well, I'll have you know, I was walking and I found the river. It's over there. I don't know if you can see it. We were walking that away. I see this that goes that away. So let's see if there's a place to fish. I can see the water is super clear. Still tannic because that's Florida River, but I'll bring it back when I get down there. Here we are. I'm just looking around for gators. 
There's plenty of places to fish. We might walk on over there. Let's see. Okay. This water is freezing. I want to fish over there. It'd be nice to fish actually in there. So far, no gators. This would be where he'd be if he were here. Basking in the sun. I bet that's the spot over there. had a bite over there. Alright, I think it's baby bluegill that are biting on this thing. See? It's a really short, hard hit. And then that's it. But I see them passing by. In front of me, I saw a tilapia go by also. I just broke off on a fish over there. I'm gonna see if I can get it with micro crankbait. Alright, they're just teasing us, so we are going to keep on going. See that school of mullet down there? Crazy. There was an otter that just swam over there. I wish I would have been able to get that otter on camera. That would have been top awesome. Here's a little hiker tip for you guys. A lot of people think that you have to be the first one on the hike so that you can literally do it alone with no traffic. And there is something awesome about that. I do that sometimes. The good thing about not being the first one is all the spider webs are cleared out. Also, this is already becoming one of my favorite trails because the majority of it is in the shade. You get some pockets like the one I'm about to walk in that, you know, the sun is right on you but for the most part you're under the trees for the majority of the time or depending on the day and where the sun is in the sky you get a lot of shade so that's awesome it's windy out here feels really good see how shaded it is so pretty looks like we got some more river access right here but i don't know that it goes deep on either side watch me fall I'm trying to talk to you guys yeah it's very shallow very shallow. We're gonna keep. Oop, where you at? We're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. What do you guys think? Should we come back here sometime and primitive camp? 50 likes. 50 likes in this video, and we'll come back in primitive camp. Got another widow maker. Something I should mention, well, a few things. One, if you haven't liked this video yet, it would mean everything to me if you did. Go ahead and like the video. And two, there are no bathrooms out here and no places to get water, which is actually only a half truth. There's no traditional places to get water commercially, like no water fountains or anything like that. But if you have a filtration straw like the low jest survival straw that i have you can just drink right out of that river it's cold and it would actually i don't know if it would taste good but it would be harm free 
See, this area looks completely different than what we've been walking through. You gotta love Florida. You got to love Florida. White sand even on the trails. Come on now. Probably a good place to catch some crawdaddies. Remember how I said the terrain always changes? This literally doesn't even look like I'm in the same place. But I'm definitely in the same hike. <laughs> same trail. And we're back. We hiked the whole six miles. That didn't even feel like six miles. That's where I came through. Looks like we're not going to go back to the water. Um, I guess we're done. <laughs> that was an awesome hike though, man. That was awesome. I recommend anybody who lives around this area or is willing to drive to come to uh, Little Manatee River State Park. This is the north side entrance. There is a south side entrance where there's more hikes that you can go on. And so I just did this north side one. So that is gonna wrap it up for today's video. Sorry we lost a lure to a bass. And upon inspection of my line, when I was changing on, putting this lure on, I actually, the bass didn't break me off. The, the lure untied, my knot untied, so I didn't tie it good enough. And so the loss of that fish is on me. So guys, like the video, please, please, please. It's what allows me to continue to come out here and do this for you guys. We're so close to hitting partner. Just a couple more watch hours to go. Actually, by the time you guys watch this video, I likely will have reached them. But in order to do bigger and better videos for you guys to continue to come out to places like this, you gotta like the video. You gotta subscribe. And uh, as per usual, live your life, live your truth. Go have fun.